I'm back. I will hydrate. What is hydrate? Drink 50 gallons of water right now. Branch J3. Suppress the dungeon boss. Why does it show that? <laughs> Just exit and re-enter? Yeah. Yeah, it is a seasonal thing. I want to get all the weekly stuff done this week, so... My first... It costs two to enter? Okay. Uh, I'm going to be doing mirror dungeons off-screen, because I want to get my weekly stuff done, and I'm not necessarily going to be able to stream every day this week. I'll try to get one in on Wednesday, but why don't you use some support? Because I don't need to right now. That's why. Your dungeons are not that super important. Yeah, but I could do it like filler streams, you know? Stuff like that. I mean, these are the best outfits I have for everybody anyways, because I haven't been using most of them. I have Otis for a backup, I suppose. Trying our best not to step on the crushed remains of the Taishi crew boss, Sinclair barely managing to hold back the urge to gag, we reached the elevator. Rodia was the first to complain about dead insects during our last expedition, but here, she got to the lift and pressed the basement button without a grumble. And once the group quieted down, Saud hit Rodia with a barrage of pent-up questions. Well, they're meant to be randomly generated, clever. I could, I'm gun, I'm gun. Tilmon and Tantoni Hanasik, I get it. Rodia spun around, talking Swede Saud into calming down, and then slowly began to elaborate. Choigong a boss and turn with talk, Kung Kongi Papos, the Che Kyonga with us so. 어떻게 알았지? 그는 표정조차 읽기 불가능한 전신 의치였을 텐데. Yeah, actually, he's right. <laughs> Mirror salt calling her out. Okay. 당연한 얘기야. 애초에 콩콩이파 보스에게는 소망력 추출 기계가 있으니까. 이번 도박에서도 백이면 백쓸 거라고 확신하고 있었겠지. Okay. <laughs> 그럼 일부러 네가 소망 스티커를 부착하는 것처럼 보이도록 유도를 했단 말이야? 맞아. 그런 다음에 오리인을 외친 거지. 그쪽 눈에는 내가 터무니 없을 정도로 배짱 있어 보여야 했으니까. There are three. 모든 도박은 다 기세로 판가름 나는 거야. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah. Sasho 수만 명의 사람들이 소망력에만 목을 매면서 의존하고 있는데 <웃음> 요즘 같은 시대엔 자신감을 심어주는 것만큼 그럴 듯한 것도 없겠지. Yeah, having confidence in poker is often a lot better than having good luck. It's the thing. 하지만 난 다르다는 말씀. But me, I'm different. <웃음> 난 옛날부터 스스로에 대한 믿음이 있었거든. 믿음이 있다는 건 마음이 곤두박질 치지 않아도 된다는 것이요. Oh, don't say that, Yi Sang. We're about to crash. 그 믿음 어떻게 하면 얻을 수 있겠소? 아 그거? 진짜 간단한 방법인데. 특별히 전수해 주지. 잘 들어. Oh no. 제일 쩌는 건 나니까 누가 무슨 소리를 짓거리든 다 개소리구나 하고 흘리면 돼. You know what? That fits her, yeah. 확실히 맞는 말이네요. 파우스트도 그렇게 생각하니까요. Giga chat. <sighs> Sinclair is not pleased. 묻지 않았던 쪽이 나았을지도 모르겠어. 
Rodia, don't tell me that's how you've been treating my words. Sadly, the victor's joy didn't last for long. The cavern was filled with the sounds of pickaxes struggling against craggy walls, and we saw security guards keeping strict watch over a vault. It felt as though it were sending us a note of warning that we wouldn't reach the bottom so easily. There was never anything that could be shown as proof, so what... <laughs> In all fairness, anyone would have thought of us as thieves if they saw us awkwardly hiding near the vault. Bury me with my money. <laughs> 그러고 보니 아까 우리를 위아래로 훑어보던 그 자원은 아는 사이였나? 고향 친구지. Something tells me the history between you two runs deeper than just that. 원래 동창회란 건 그런 거야. 우리 그렉도 지난번에 옛 전우들이랑 살벌하게 인사하지 않았어? <웃음> 그렇게 말하면 할 yeah. 말이 없네. Bear. 철창들 속에 뭔가 움직이고 있네요. 아, 애완동물이라도 기르는 걸까요? Oh, Honglu, no, don't stick your hand into the abnormality cage. 당신 네 집에서는 철창을 부술 듯이 뒤흔드는 걸 애완동물이라고 말하나 보죠? 죄종들이군요. Pekatula. Did they think they could tame abnormalities? 하, 유리 씨가 들었으면 기가 차서 코웃음만으로 세명 정도는 날렸을 소린데. 유리 씨. 이론적으로는 가능해요. 인간의 준하는 지적 능력을 지니고 있고 수차례의 실험을 거쳤던 검증된 관리법이 있다면요. 뭐 hmm. 성공만 한다면 훌륭한 경비견이 될 수는 있었겠네요. 어라 이분들 자세히 보니 손가락이나 몸 일부분이 물어 뜯겨 있어요. Yeah, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Thankfully, he didn't add, is this in fashion, or other obnoxious remarks this time. <laughs> almost. Almost didn't. Okay. <laughs> it's me of those who wanted to pet our favorite flesh doggo, nothing there. Oh, it's gonna force me to do abnormalities right at the start. Okay. Explosives Bay? Pardon? <laughs> Even though we won the right to head to the basement, the Lobotomy Court branch has seemed to be ta long taken over by the casino. Slaves digging away walls, security guards watching them, Pecatola che chewing at iron bars, a lot stood in our way. Now, is it actually working, or does it still heal you between fights in the story ones? I don't think there's been an update, so it should still work. It should still be pretty convenient to fight things. <laughs> Being shoved out of cover by Rodia, Gregor stumbled forward, separated from us. Then bumping into a slave who was busy digging away at rocks. <gasps> they seemed to pause for a moment in awkwardness. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Or, 
4,792,000. Oh, it's how much he's in debt to the casino. 4,791,000. 4,790,000. Barf on your hands. For someone who often speaks in riddles herself, Ryoshu's patience sure wore out quickly. She grabbed the sheath of her sword as she threatened the worker. Break all the remaining fingers. At this point, I'm more scared of how quickly you got that. <laughs> Pizzle Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cornered, Gregor suddenly started shouting in a remarkably out of character voice. Oh no, why are you doing that to them? Muson Maldo <웃음> 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 <웑음> 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 <웃음> <웑음> 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 <웃음> <웑음> 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 <웃음> <웑음> <웃음> <웑음> 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 <웃음> <웑음> 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 <웃음> <웑음> 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 <웃음> <웑음> <웃음> <웑음> 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 <웃음> <웑음> 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 <웃음> <웑음> 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 <웃음> <웑음> <웃음> <웑음> <웃음> 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 <웑음> <웃음> <웑> 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 <laughs> 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 And then the other two can't redirect, so they're just gonna have to hit something. <laughs> oh, right. Kong Lu exists. I forgot. <laughs> the very first thing the security guards do upon seeing intruders is to release the incredibly dangerous <laughs> abnormalities. Well, I mean, if it works. <laughs> It's a queen of hatred type scenario. <laughs> you know? I didn't even take damage. What are these things supposed to be? I don't know. <laughs> okay. There's a challenge fight no matter what I do, so just go to Quarry 2. Even though we won the right to head to the basement, will Bottomy Corp. It's the same thing again. <laughs> Fire ants? They're all sin-based? Yeah. They are like the matchsticks from Lore, actually.
And then these are not abnormalities, so we have to fight them normally. But there's only three of them, so this probably isn't even going to be that hard. Yeet. <laughs> he did not need that. <laughs> he had two health. Come on, Rodia. That's just rude. Rudia. <laughs> Six damage. You didn't even kill the guy. Come on. <laughs> Good. Better now that the abnorms are freed, they are making ecosystems, and this results in these little baby things. Well, yeah, they're kind of like child abnorms, pretty much. Sinners with low sanity will be corroded by ego. Yes, they will. All right. Oh, it looks like we're going to be fighting the abnormality pretty quick. I'm glad there isn't a cutscene at each section this time, because that was a long first time. Nice, kill the children. It's it's a Project Moon game, of course. Is Rodia Russian? Yeah, that's where the story's from, anyway. Oh, three of the big guys. Okay. I mean, there's still only three of them. So this... I have such a wide variety of attacks to choose from here. Uh, it's too yellow, too brown. Get him, you thing. You haven't let me down yet. Like, he's... It's such a good, uh, free three-star for everybody to get. Which I guess is kind of the point. I'm willing to bet nobody's used Lee Sang's base uh, identity as a result. Just because that one's so good. Yay! <laughs> Used to be in his Russian for a while. Yeah. I mean, Crime and Punishment is a Russian story, so it makes sense. I like his base ID. It's probably fine. All the base IDs are pretty decent. That is not a boss abnormality. Okay. Cool. It's just a regular one. Gregor's breathtaking attempt at instigation caused the security to release the Pecatola. Taking a better look at these creatures, though, they don't seem to be following any orders, instead attacking any human in sight. In that case... Dante, it's weird for the Kurokumo and Blade Lineage to work together, though. Yeah, I know the base IDs are good. I'm well aware. Ah, the meatballs! My favorite. I love how it's still playing the casino music for this. Ooh, they're stronger now. Or that one is, I guess. Okay, you can go for that. Uh, I don't want you to redirect anything, so just target that guy. And then, whatever. I mean, that doesn't work, but we should still be fine. These guys are chumps, we know from before. The meatballs are just have a lot of HP. They don't actually deal that much damage. Okay, so points. <laughs> Should level up base heat if you don't want to suffer. No, I'll be fine. Why their attack so slow? I'll have plenty of time, don't worry. I probably won't get a chance to stream Chapter 3 until the end of the week anyway, so I'll have plenty of time to level up some other stuff. Do not worry about it. 
배는 맛은 있는 편이 좋은데. 배는 건 즐겁네요. Self that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, the announcer from Darkest Dungeon. 제대로 들어갔습니다. 버리겠습니다. But yeah, I, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I'll have plenty of time. 자, 잠깐. 이것들 왜 이쪽으로 오는 거지? 멈춰! 멈추라니까! They don't listen to you, dude. 네, 이, 이, 이것들 좀 떼어줘! 빨리! 사천실발보시... The debtors kept on swinging their pickaxes. 47,900,000 picks left and counting down. We were able to find our way down using this opportunity. Hodio replied with an apathetic look. Did the entire 322 dungeon without Heathcliff? No, people were just saying that. I know, Matt. I don't accept them. I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> like, okay, there's an event. Oh, this is long. Okay. We go down here. I want the event. Get have no gifts. We managed to reach the next floor. Colorful containers awaited us within the space guarded by no one. What's this ominous feeling, though? Yeah, people were saying that 3-4 requires blunt damage. Not the dungeon. 형형색색의 매끈한 플라스틱으로 이루어진 컨테이너 박스. Oh, and you know about those, do you? You want to get beat hurtily? Yeah, I saw that name for that ego, and I have no idea. What... I will level up other identities. 단순한 공장 시설이라고 판단하기에는 이질적인 소재가 많다. As soon as Mirror Salt finished, the colorful yet ominously designed container activated with a cheery tune. This is an after melody, then. The Home Depot music. Good question. Well, was all I could mutter before the answer revealed itself to us. The doors of the container opened as it finished operating, and inside... <laughs> You want to get hurt, beat, hurtily? Yeah, this is in the... The ego for this is Mersault, and it's in the battle pass. <laughs> it's from Have You Become Strong. That is an aberration of... The, the like, thing that eats your employee for... Yeah, you must be happy. <laughs> we can change anything, or the other one. One of the two. It's a Saiyan. Iguganbutanen, Tankulpan and Sagabil, Punkatsuguru, Trogatam Moyangeo. Kugiani Gosaya, Kanga Ingandil, Tayang Rusang Sanskilinen. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Now let's move. They're pointed right at us, singing that spooky song. I I under I know which one is which. I was blanking on the name of the Iron Maiden one. Ooh, music. Come strong, genuinely. It's a tap. All right, passives. Turn start. Gain protection. Okay, whatever. A bunch of creeps walked out of that container box, wearing tin cans on their heads. Torsos made up of some sort of plastic. It's hard to explain. It was like someone arbitrarily put together pieces of random toys. On top of unmatching colors, some straight up lacked frames to cover up the mechanisms. They weren't all machines either. Between the parts, I saw bits of flesh and dried blood. Just what is going on inside that box? Um, maybe it's a type of automated prosthetic procedure device. A company my father considered buying was... Never mind. Forget I said anything. Abnormalities are not real devices. I recommend against trying to make ties with existing things. Okay. 
Uh, two to eleven. Work hard and let's get to work. So the two on the bottom are the annoying ones. They're gonna roll really high. And there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> So we're just going to try to beat them with our best skills. Wait. I don't know. You attack the other one. And then somebody with our best possible roll can hit the other guy. That works for now. The other ones just kind of die here. So it doesn't matter who clashes with them. Got him. That wasn't even good. <laughs> it was a terrible roll and I still beat it. Yeah, they seem tanky, but they don't seem too bad to deal with either. Or they're meant to be tanky anyway. All right, this turn is easy. You clash with that guy. You can deal with that. The others are just going to kill the guys on the bottom, I think. Where's the Limbus discography? This music is awesome. The music in the entire game has been really good. That was a nice heal turn. Okay. Workout music for an abnormality that's based around making you stronger? What? What's the problem? <laughs> I don't understand. Alright. Oh, it's just here. Okay. Molding chamber. We must defeat the ruthless cyborg singing in jolly voices and make it through here. In the middle of the factory, you find a vending machine with large buttons. They're colorful and fancy. You feel a strong compulsion to press them. Which one will you press? The red button with a fist icon. The yellow button with a foot icon. The green button with a heart icon. Press all the buttons at once. Three ego gifts, but... Or don't press anything. Everybody is saying all three. <laughs> If this kicks me out of the mission, I'm banning every single one who's saying do it. <laughs> error, error. The vending machine began to rattle. Hey, what's wrong with this thing? <sighs> you should have known better than to get greet. Before the sinner could finish, the machine exploded, spewing a slew of toy parts into the air. All allies take 25 HP and SP damage. Toy fist, toy foot, toy screw. Yeah, that's not great, but they're not uh, corroded yet. And the ones I'm using are still on high sanity. All allies deal 10% damage. All allies gain one speed. All allies gain 10% max HP. Got it. So I have to do the abnormality fight before I get to the rest stop. Which is fine. Just hit the next floor for full heal. It heals you between battles. The dungeons are bugged in the story. I have to use your Ruina reading skills? I have to use the reading skills in all of the fights. I have to read the thing. <laughs> this fight wiped me? Really? <laughs> this guy? Of all things? Want to get beat hurtily? <laughs> oh, he has a lot of attacks. Okay. Gain two protection. Bunch of creeps walked out of that. Uh, Thunder box. It's the same description, but it's a different enemy. Weird. They're tough. These things are way tougher than they look. I thought they'd be as easy to deal with as children's toys, but I was way misjudged. I thought I'd seen my share fair of extraordinary things throughout my career of unpleasant jobs. But it looks like I still have much to see and learn. There has to be a human inside. But they acted like broken killing machines. 
Their upper body rotates all the way around, and their arms move weirdly too. And most of all, it's like they're incapable of feeling pain. I heard some alleys in the back streets provide a surgery that fries pain receptors. Could this be similar? As I repeatedly assert, abnormalities are entities of their own category. You shouldn't construe them with the city's standards, Ishmael. And yet abnormalities physically exist in this realm. If the properties of a thing aren't determined by the laws of space it exists in, can it truly be said to exist? The hell are you yapping on about? I don't believe it's necessary for you to understand, Eplith. Huh? Is my name written here somewhere? How'd you know it was me? Funny, a cigarette burn is left on the page. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Aotokorp. How are you doing? He says to be one of the worst abnorms in the, uh, the LC's employees could have been stuck with. I think I have an idea now. When I approached the fainted tin men, I heard mechanical noises. It sounded like things were being fixed within. If I had to guess, they seemed to be equipped with devices that automatically repair their bodies. But the device didn't seem capable of carrying out more than five repairs. Only trouble is that they grow stronger each time they're fixed up. We should find a way to deal with them and stop their repair mechanism from getting to work. Until then, we'll have to bear with their five lives. Oh, by the way, how do you think the human parts inside are being repaired? Do not question the physics of abnormalities. <laughs> Just finish this done. Good luck with your pulls. No problem. Okay, die when count reaches five. Reduce max HP by 20%. Oh, so I'm literally going to have to kill all of them five times. I see. Oh, this one's different. Actually. And it's still not important. Okay. And they get stronger every time they revolve. They have the same lore. True. Uh, in that case, the easiest way to do this would be to kill one at a time. Also, I am still injured, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. Means I can not do that yet. Okay. This guy is obviously the big problem, but once the other two are gone, he's not going to be as bad. So I think I want to deal with the other two first, since they have way less HP. They lose max HP when they revive. Oh, yeah, they do. That's fine, then. Do they revive instantly, then, is the question. I guess we'll find out, won't we? That is to say, do not tell me. <laughs> uh, this is my best bet for actually winning the Clash. So I'll do that for him. And then somebody's got a Clash with this guy. It's only a 1 to 3. Who cares? <laughs> I'm still going to attack him, because as soon as I get hit, I'm staggered on anybody. Uh, not you. Somebody who has a weak attack to, that has to go. Which is, uh, nobody. Okay, well. I'll use this then, since I need some light greens. Actually, I need to use a dark blue. But... Nice. I don't really need to damage him at all, but still worth it. Okay, he died very fast. And it looks like they do not immediately revive. It revives at the end of turn. I'm gonna have to deal with two of them. Wait a minute. They just stay a lot. Okay. All right, I guess I'm dealing with two of them at once. You defeated the enemy, but now it's back up. What's going on? I have already figured it out. Thank you, though. Yeah, you can kill the front two pretty easily. This guy is going to be annoying because he's just gained a die. And that worries me. This attack doesn't do much. This one's fine. Wait, he gained HP. I didn't... Oh, no, he didn't. It was this guy's body, I think, that I was looking at. All right. Uh, two to eight. That's not that big of a deal. You hit him with your weak attack. What's this one? Two nine. I want to use a four ten on the two eight. 
I can't redirect with anybody but you. Alright, well in that case... <laughs> I need to make sure to clash with them is the thing. 2-9, uh huh? How about I... Did not mean to do that. Can I undo that? Okay, good. That can be countered with anything. Go after him. Have you played Lobotomy Corporation before? Yes. <laughs> I've played Library of Ruina as well. Don't worry. You blocked the first one, that's okay. You rolled a one? <laughs> Incredible. Okay, that's not a bad start on him, but it is going to be annoying when he revives. I didn't kill him, though, so he's going to be staggered next turn. Ooh. I like the music change. 2 to 11, huh? I can't redirect it. I don't know what this is here for. Try to get all the color resistances revealed. Well, I'm just trying to get Ego right now, because that's important, isn't it? But I don't want to kill the back one until the first two are dealt with, for the most part, because they're going to be way more annoying, aren't they? Which is why I'm not attacking that guy very much, for the record. I just don't want to have to deal with him. <laughs> okay, that one's dead a second time. This is going to be a long fight. Okay, I dealt with both of them. The big guy is wasn't attacked, so I don't need to worry about him dying this turn. Again, once he's the only one left... How do those cyborgs keep coming back? The sinners were discussing. Perhaps these beings are not alive. That way they would not be able to die. No, we're not getting ph philosophical here. Hmm. To me, it looked like rebuilding a brick wall. I think I'm hearing something from that factory in the back. The group turned their gaze to the factory behind the cyborgs. Clanks of steel could be heard from the place that was quiet until moments ago. Maybe you should take a look at that shady facility. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm not... I'm just going to keep fighting them. Do we really have to crawl into a place like that? One sinner spoke bluntly. That's a good point. No need to take risks. If they keep coming back, we'll just keep beating them until they don't. What do you mean, you fool? I'll be fine. Get over it. Okay, that's going to hit pretty hard, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Do you have an ego? Wait... He rolled zero on everything. <laughs> okay. I don't get why all you care about that. Alright, somebody needs to use an ego to beat this. Does anybody even have one? Okay, Rodia does. Ah! Do you have one by chance? No. I think. Alright. Well, that's gonna be painful. Yeah, don't spoil what would have happened. <laughs> I don't care, Jet. I don't have anything that consistently beats this. Uh, I don't know if them getting staggered, them having their HP reduced to zero matters. If they would be able to attack still. I'll try to be, it's technically possible for me to win this engagement, so.
unopposed. Oh, because I can't redirect it with you. All right. Uh, hold on. I can't redirect it with anyone, actually. All right, I guess Hong Lu's going to take a bit of damage. Wait, no, I can't have him take a bit of damage. He's clashing with the other thing. Well, this is awkward. Here. You can clash with that, then. Uh, somebody's going to have to deal with this. And it's probably going to end up being Greg. No, it's not. You're more likely to beat it. And then I guess Greg is targeting this guy. I can't redirect everything, and that doesn't do very much damage, so... Yeah, once the front two are dead, I'm guessing it's not going to be as bad. You can stop now. Uh, <laughs> okay, I won one of them. That was the weak one, I think. Oh, did I not kill that guy? That's annoying. Uh, he rolled a five. It's fine. Excuse me, sir. You can move faster than... That is not five. Okay. I see. We'll be all right. Okay, he's not using it again, at least. I can ignore the defensive die. This guy is on his last revive, isn't he? Okay, what are you doing? It's a 2 to 8. I can't redirect any of them. Alright, so Rodia has to clash with this guy. Honglu needs to clash with this guy. Got it. This seems like an obvious choice. <laughs> Alright, Honglu. Who better attack is that one? Okay, do you have an ego yet? How do you not? Man. Nobody has an ego right now. Okay. 313, huh? No, you're gonna clash with the other one. You can deal with the 313 because you're more likely to beat it, I think. This this turn's probably gonna suck. I press space to try to start. Okay, yeah, this guy's dead. That's not a problem. Get one HP? Wait, what? What just happened? Okay, that was weird. I don't think I killed him. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh. Hmm? What? I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> that really looked like I lost, and then I just decided to not lose. Okay, yeah, one of them's gone. Uh-oh. No big moves. That's fine, then. And he's just blocking. He'll be dead this turn. Heel turn moment. Is heel turn, like, good because of that, then? Because I literally haven't looked at what it does. <laughs> Somebody needs to finish off this one. Which has 10 HP, so basically anything will kill it. I don't have a lenticular swirl, unfortunately. Alright, let's t choose these first, because that's more important. You can deal with the small guy. Alright, one of these clashes is going to be awkward. That's okay. Right. Please finish off the guy on the top. It'll be so much more annoying if you don't. <laughs> also, Gregor's just at full health again because he's broken good at this. His uh, identity is just insanely good. Thank you. It's just got two coins. Yeah, that's fair. All right. No big moves. Don't care. Don't stop me. <laughs> Don't stop me. Nah, go ahead and use this. Against the big one. Or one of them, I guess. Uh, 
I'm glad that this guy just has zero speed. That makes it a lot more... A lot less dangerous to just redirect. Since you can just redirect them at any time. Pardon you? <laughs> so much for that guard. The revive is reducing max HP, but not part HP. Yeah, but the part HP doesn't matter, because once it hits one on max, it's dead anyways. You know? Yeah, I know part HP is a stagger threshold. I figured that out. <laughs> also, I think he's just dead next turn, probably. Because he's got his last thing going right now, doesn't he? This will put him on four. Okay. And now he's doing the big, the big daddy attack. That's okay. The other one, literally... I mean, it's not... It doesn't not matter, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. Okay, we won. Okay, we won. It's been a while since I've used this one, actually. <laughs> there, he's dead. As soon as the turn ends, he's dead anyways. And I staggered him, so now we just get to watch the damage numbers go. <laughs> Good shit. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I, I, excuse me. He beat my ego. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess it was a possibility. It was a 315 versus a 1424. During battle, if an ally takes a lethal damage, their HP won't go below one. On the next turn, fully heal their HP and gain three surgery. They will die at the end of the battle. Activates once per dungeon, then the gift expires. Okay. Now everybody's back to full health and zero sanity. It's a little annoying that sanity gets reduced. But, okay. Regular fight. Wait, that's not even the... End boss of the thing. Okay. I was gonna go to the bonus thing anyways. But I have to go, I have to do the attack, the fight first. <laughs> like, this is a required fight right here. I don't know why it's making me do it. Okay. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> That was really good music, but I'm glad the fight is over. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Destroy Nicely done. Those fights are always super easy. This ego gift is useless because you're not going to die. There is nothing much left in this dungeon. <laughs> well, there's three floors to every dungeon, so at least you're wrong on that point. But I'm going to have to do two abnormality fights no matter what. So, paint shop. Ex exiting the passage, you see a group of cyborgs gathered around a huge roulette. Oh, highly excited, thoroughly amusing. The game of death. They approach you, chanting in strange beats. It looks like they want you to play a game of roulette. What should you do? Forget games, crush them in battle. You get ego anyways. Rodian gains SP, run Wrath Sloth and Gloom checks. Pass to heal all allies SP and gain an ego gift. It's the same ego gift, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'll take on your challenge. You know where this is where I shine. Rodia proudly proclaimed as she stepped forward. 
You can see a mixture of anticipation and excitement in her face. Rodian heals 20 SP. All right. First check. Liking red color. Liking red color. Like it. Like it. A group of cyborgs yelled along to a strange rhythm. Red four. Exulting the number high, they spun the roulette. Then they handed a roulette ball to one of the sinners. Okay. Threshold of five. Got it. He's guaranteed to beat it. So is she, actually. <laughs> but Yi Sang is the only one that's uh, wrath-focused right now, so I guess we'll go with him. It's a guaranteed win. Losing! Defeat! Urg Ak! The upgraded croupier fell to the ground, buzzing and sparking. Even its final throws felt rhythmic. Selected identity heals... Oh, it heals them if they pass. Okay. Now time to... No time now to stay all hurt. The chuckling cyborgs went back to the roulette. Like yellow color. Like yellow color. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow six. Okay. Only three... Unsl oh, yeah, you can't use the same person multiple times in a row. That's not guaranteed. That's not guaranteed. None of them are guaranteed. Uh, but Hong Lu is the most likely since he has three coins. Okay, we got it. Check past. All lost. Foil again. Yeah. The upgraded croupier fell to the ground, buzzing and sparking. Heels? Last check. Only one very high. Can't say no to fun. Not one little tiny bit. The singing group of cyborgs spins the wheel. Liking blue color. Liking blue color. Bluey, bluey, bluey. Blue eight. That would be why. Threshold of nine. You're the only one that's likely to win this, apparently. <laughs> Sometimes the normal or low ones are higher chances. This is only one coin, so this isn't actually a higher chance. Eleven. Okay. Very low. He literally can't win it. That's also only one coin. Oh. Absolutely not. <laughs> nope, Ryoshu's definitely the highest odds. Oh, wow. Everything, gone up bust, damn it. The upgraded croupier fell to the ground, buzzing and sparking. All the other cyborgs broke down with it at the same time. Have we won? You notice something glowing in their pile of tin rubble. You carefully picked it up. All allies heal 30, Rodian heals 20. Rainbow Mainspring. Everybody is near max SP. Came to an agreement. <laughs> At the start of the turn, apply two protect to the ally with the lowest HP. That's not bad. Alright, yeah, we're doing two abnormality battles now. No way around it. <laughs> Generally never seen a moment when the normal or low one had higher chances. It depends on the number of coins, I think. Because if it's only one coin, you only get one chance to roll it. But if you get multiple coins, it typically rolls higher, just from odds. Okay, they don't have the thing anymore. What the heck are you? <laughs> hmm. Writing is rather tedious work. Oh, but I do suppose it's not a bad idea to write down my experiences. I hated when my grandfather scolded and pestered me into keeping a diary. But now, I'm not so averse to the thought. So I have to describe the appearance of that abnormality, right? Firstly, its eyes were out of focus. It was drooling from the mouth, too. Something about the color of the eyes and the saliva was off as well. They were all pink, same as the ribbon wrapped around the body. Oh, speaking of ribbons, doesn't it bear a striking resemblance to silk? I think our family kept a similar color of fabric, though it wasn't the most luxurious. Hmm. I do guess it's valuable in its own right. Right, that's it. We used something like this for decoration on our younger sibling's birthday. That is Hong Lu writing that. Okay, the two guys in the front are just blocking, which is fine by me. Let's see. I want to see what I have the best odds on beating this. This. 
and I believe this are the best odds of beating those. Uh, I should probably just kill these guys before they get a chance to act, huh? <laughs> that seems like a smart idea. Or at least kill one of them. Because I'm not going to be able to kill both, but... Thankfully, one of them's just blocking, so I can ignore one. I can ignore them both. Ooh, that was way closer than it needed to be, Honglu. Alright, he's dead. So now he has no defense, so, uh, <laughs> goodbye. Ooh, that's rough. Alright. Could have gone better, but it's fine. They roll really wide ranges. Uh, you can deal with them. Work hard. Oh, you're right. That's the other one that has a word. Oh, no, you can deal with them. My bad. <laughs> okay, uh, actually, deselect those, and I'll select them last, because I need to finish off the other guys. Okay. Oh, it, he went first, so it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> okay. That's a new ab note, it seems. I already read it. Like, I've been reading the story as we go. The toy soldier guys all have the same description. I think shoes is an aberration of red shoes. Oh, is it called pink shoes? This is the first time we've seen two non-related abnormalities work together. That's not true at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? We've had the meatball with the weird torch looking thing all the time. Read their name. Like, does everybody in chat think I can't read or something? <laughs> like, alright. This is a Zayn. An insect-like entity with a transparent body, unable to identify several physical requirements for maintenance of life, cannot determine it is an organism. Its body is filled with water. Objects that appear to be organs are observed inside, but they do not appear to function as organs. The water does not appear to play any part of biological activities either. The body of liquid seems to be stagnant. It has the face of someone lost deep in thought. It could merely be a resemblance to a species of zooplankton. Prolonged observation makes my mind sink. Sinking, reminding me of the past. It is not a pleasant feeling. Okay, no idea who was writing that. Probably Mersault or Faust, one of the two. Oh, this one's different. Is it the same story? Nope. I mean, yes, it is. Oh dear, it looks like these used to be the employees of this company. Faust said that their outfits and employee IDs belong to the former L Corp. Goodness, I can't possibly imagine looting a corpse myself. If it came down to me, I would have ordered a servant to handle the task. And I would have looked away from the gross sight and told the servant to explain it with words. Oh, I wouldn't have taken interest in dead bodies in the first place. Now that I think about it, could these deceased people be animated by those ribbons, perhaps? The ribbons that grab us as we fight them. If they wrap around us when we die, do you think we'll become like them? Okay. Uh, these aren't that dangerous, roll-wise. Like, this deals with this guy perfectly. And those aren't using very strong attacks, either. So I can probably just punch into them and be fine. I could do I think is how that's pronounced. Okay, I'm just getting perfect rolls on that each time. I probably should have looked at that, but it should be fine, right? It was a bit of damage. It's fine. We can heal. Good. No point crying over it. When I die, will I become dry on <laughs> loot? What does that mean? Ah, that's scary. Okay. 
Well, actually, we're getting healed after this fight, so I don't really care. As long as I win, it's fine. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Still worked. But... Okay, this guy should also die. Yep. Nice. You know, Pongu is one of the two sinners that can use Pink Shoe's ego. Yeah, I knew that, actually. It's in the rolls, it's not even in the battle pass. Okay, oh, Pink Shoes is the boss, all right. Let's see then. Difficulty 14. Yeriang Komuro and Yesri Pogoshi Pana? Good luck. I mean, it's probably not that bad. Nobody's really complained about this dungeon at all. Oh, it's... It is actually both of them. Clippity-cloppity-tap away. <laughs> so this, then, is the boss. It already has three. Composed of machinery, tin, plastic, steel, and circuits. Red or pink ribbons are coiled around the body. A pair of pink shoes are worn around the parts thought to be feet. Uh, the feet appear to have been forcibly shoved into the pink shoes. Anomalies observed in the color and direction of pupils all, in all entities. We'll note new discoveries in a future report. Damn, that's awful dry. <laughs> yeah, it still dies when the count reaches five. It just starts at three. So that is the main issue. The other ones are going to probably die pretty quick. Do I have an ego available? Probably not, right? Yeah. So that is the most likely thing for me to lose a clash against this turn. Just make some riches. 816 is my best roll range. And she can't redirect it, so it doesn't matter. So I guess I'm dismembering it. Hang on, does Ryoshu have guard? Yeah, it doesn't really matter at the moment. Come on. Who's the attack friend? I can't redirect them, is the problem here. So Ryoshu has to clash with this one. Which isn't too big a deal, I suppose. As long as we ensure one of them dies this turn, we should be okay. Yeah, that was the scariest attack. Once the small things are gone, the rest of this fight's gonna be easy. Because that's how these tend to work. This offense level down. Oh yeah, flank thrust is gonna do a lot to that. Actually. Okay, well I killed two of them. That's not a bad start. Strips of pink ribbons float this way. Uh-oh. I have no idea what this is going to do. Two to twelve. I mean, this is a three thirteen and a two nine, and I can't redirect. Well, I can redirect one of them, but not the other. So you have to clash with this. And the other person who has to clash is... Ugh, that's not a good roll. Hang on. He doesn't have ego either. So it's the best I can do. The others are going to kill this guy. Uh... I'll the other two go first so I can actually do that. Ha! 
재미는 없겠지만 그렇게 할게요. And that's unfortunate. No, I still beat it. Okay, good. Thank you, heal turn. <웃음> <laughs> it was bound to happen. Okay, all that's left is the main one. Voice travels between the fluttering ribbons. What is your desire? Put on me. I'll take you wherever you want to go. The suggestions are incredibly suspicious, but for some reason the sinners are struggling to decide what to do. What do you say? I'm pretty sure refusing is smart, right? Though this is gonna drain my sanity, if I'd have to guess. But uh, we're all in pretty good, in a pretty good space right now. Let the dog decide, I will not do that. Refuse. Nothing happens. The knot of desires must be undone. Who can undo the knot? Threshold of seven. Okay. Almost guaranteed. That's bad. <laughs> Alright, Rodian's got the best odds. Please do not roll a seven. Okay, good. Ah. Uh, my head is pounding. Mm, it was just getting good. The ribbons binding the team scattered and melted away. Freedom. Freeness. An unfamiliar voice reaches your ears, but for now, you should help the sinners recover first. I wasn't too bad. Oh, the good music's back. 313, 3... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay. So this is how this is gonna work. I'm gonna use two ego, and then we're gonna see what happens. Because I think I can only use two, right? Oh, I can use all three. Sweet. Fun. Select the other two attacks first so that I <laughs> don't redirect onto them. And it's dead after this turn, too, since it'll be at five. I'm assuming killing that one first, since it's possible, uh, will result in you not having to do that check. Perhaps. That would be my guess, anyways. Egg. <laughs> oh, here we go. Feels like it's getting colder and colder. Why Rodian's backstory cutscenes. 이상 현상이 잦아질수록 긍정적인 신호라고 생각하는 편이 좋아요. 불렀어? Did you call? What? <웃음> 지금 그거 농담은 아니었으면 좋겠어요. <웃음> 덕분에 더 추워질 것 같으니까. No, they did not. I had to deal with it on Friday. Putting aside Ishmael's grievance, I thought about what Faust had said. Because that means we're getting close to the golden bow, right? It was a pretty solid answer, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but Faust's reply was discouragingly dull, or at least that's how I heard it. Yep, it's going to play the cutscene again. <laughs> Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. So. Ah, uh, what is this map? Snowstorm Fields. I'm going to have to do three battles before I get where I'm going. Ice Castle where neighbors lie. 
Okay, what does this do? After winning a clash using a lust skill, inflict one bind and one fragile. I don't remember what color that is, <laughs> so. I know, I just looked at it. Lust is orange. Okay, I well. won't. Moving past the container boxes, we're met with the chilly air. The chunks of ice hint that we're almost at the end. Well, I use a lot of brown, so. They're color coded? Okay, well. Alright, Pectula morosit Morositatus. That's what it says. 2424 two, and 239s. Two, nine. Calm music does not fit this at all. <laughs> By the way. It's kind of hard to redirect these guys, actually. They roll pretty high. Yeah, I can't redirect the last one. Oh, well. Nice. These things aren't super dangerous, from what I've seen. But that one's gonna be almost dead, yeah. Ow. <laughs> okay. Uh, three nine. What's my best? Six twelve. Uh, eight sixteen. Uh, and he's targeting that. No, he's not. Uh, okay. Uh, 513? I guess. Alright, somebody's gotta kill these. Alright, nice win. <laughs> oh, it just died. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Really? That's weird, Mad Light. They count as abnormality kills for the battle pass. And they all have abnormality stories. So, methinks you're just not right. No, they're not. They're really not, sir. Oh, hello there, Iceman. Guess it's my turn now. Figured it'd come up so it'd come sooner or later. I saw the other guys write stuff down from time to time, and Greg was making notes with a super grumpy face one time, too. Ah, would it hurt for our guide, Mr. Color and Faust over there to tell us anything? Well, a job is a job, I guess. Hmm. I don't know how to put this to words. It looks like that guy with the pickaxe outside, but with spikes of ice here and there. Nothing too weird so far. I've seen bigger icicles on someone who slept outside back in my hometown. The Werid... Watson. <laughs> Thing is, they've got legs that look like they belong to a chicken. What's that supposed to mean? Also, I have the full story for the... Oh, yeah, they only had one. Oh, they have a lot of attacks. Uh, and they're all dangerous. Okay. Cool. Except for that one. I can ignore that one. So that's what I'll do. Well, first, what's Rodia gonna clash with? Because she needs to clash with something. sucks. Nice. That's a good start. Getting rid of those things is nice because it means I don't have to deal with them. That one's gonna survive. Oh. It's only eight damage, I guess. Very weak to blunt damage, though. Okay. 
Uh, somebody... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the two to four doesn't bother me at all. But that two twelve is annoying. Maybe I can finish him off before he gets it off. Perhaps. Since I'm faster than him and whatnot. What? Oh, I thought I'd clash with that. My bad. Whatever. Greg can heal pretty easily, so... He didn't get staggered? Okay, weird. Can I... I cannot get a heal off on him. But I'm willing to try. Just to see if this works and he gets a heal because of it. Yeah, he did get a little HP back. I love his passives. Oh, they just give me a heal here. There's, there can't be very many fights left in this. Good day. Yeah, they weren't made by Abnos, except all the ones that we have seen that are definitely made by Abnos. You know, like the ribbon ones and the doomsday clock ones and <laughs> etc. I too love to nitpick for no reason. Two twelve, I can redirect it. Where's the yeah, that's the one that's gonna be the most annoying. Greg's gotta take that hit. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Break smash, that doesn't do enough damage to matter. Break peck also doesn't do enough damage to matter. Ice Chunk, if you've got a clash with it, clash with it, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay. And Rhodia can just clash with whatever small attack she wants. With the time Young, being. It's a little bit disappointing damage-wise, but okay. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> okay. Just stabs Ryoshu for no reason. Hang on. Everybody can redirect this bird. So. Bop, bop, bop. Bop and bat. There we go. Bat. He's gonna be dead before he even gets off an attack, which is the point. I should probably read the rest of their stories, huh? <laughs> Oh well, it's fine for now. Oh, we're just at the end. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Alright, last boss time then. We made it across the frozen landscape and reached the end of the mines. In the distance, I saw a massive castle of ice and an unexpected guest. Before us stood a monumental castle of ice and frozen pillars that seemed unbreakable. And there stood a person. 
How did he get here? <laughs> a man with hyaline hair, as clear as ice, waiting for us. 나는 가끔 머릿속이 복잡해질 때마다 이곳으로 오곤 했어. 비록 네가 좋아하는 안락 의자나 위스키는 없지만. 여기는 외투를 아무리 단단히 여며봐도 추위가 뚫고 들어와. 그래서... While the rest of us were frozen stiff, stuck watching, Rodia made a slow step toward to face him. Forward to face him. 먼저 와 있을 줄은 몰랐는데 말이야. 나와 대원들은 일찌감치 이곳으로 통하는 지름길을 알고 있었어. Of course they did. 이 지역의 부정한 것들을 통해서 얻어낸 자료였지. 대의를 위한 큰 힘이 묻힌 공간에 대한 자료 말이야. Sure, the greater good. 하지만 이 황금 가지가 묻혀 있는 공간에만 근접하게 도달했을 뿐. 어찌할 방도가 보이지 않았지. 25구에 박혀 있을 줄만 알았는데. 그따위 조직 범죄단 같은 수법이나 쓸 거면 계속 박혀 있는 게 좋았을 것 같네. District 25. Okay. 소냐. 네 덕에 죄 없는 상인들도 전부 돈을 빼앗기고 있었어. 그거 알아, 로자? 이곳은 원래 성애가 가득 끼어 있을 뿐인 조금 기묘한 장소에 불과했어. 하지만 이것 봐. 지금은 거대한 성과 단단한 얼음들로만 뒤덮인 곳이 되었네. 네가 막 이곳으로 발걸음을 한 순간부터. 음... <웃음> 마치 내가 오면 변할 걸 알고 있었다는 듯한 말투네. 어떻게 알았지? 정보의 출처는 여러 가지가 있지만 네가 알 필요는 없어, 로자. Actually, yeah, that would be why Corp, wouldn't it? 애초에 나 때문이라고 어떻게 단언하지? 난 뒷골목을 쏟아내는 마술사가 아니란 말이야. 어려울 것 없어. 그저 얼음 속 잠든 이들의 얼굴만 봐도 알수 있지. 이것 봐. 네가 사랑했던. 하지만 동시에 속으로 내려보던 얼굴들이잖아. 25만 원. 예. Yeah. 이게 고작 그 정도 값이라고요? 말도 안 돼요. 그러니까 말이 되지 않나? 오래된 만큼 흠집도 작고 윤기도 나지 않아. 사실 다른 곳에선 20만 원도 아까운 수준이야. There is no District 26. 나머지는 모두 쓸모없는 쓰레기뿐이군. 이로써 뱉어야 할 세금은 모두 40만 원이네. 왜 가난한 자들은 일할수록 더 가난해지기만 할까? 진짜 어이없지. 전당포 주인의 금고에 돈이 쌓여갈수록 우리 이웃들은 추억마저 저울질 당하며 푼돈 취급을 받고 있었어. 소녀는 항상 어려운 말을 섞었으면서 사람들을 끌어모았고 그들의 아래에 유로집이라는 이름의 조직이 세워졌지. 처음엔 괜찮았어. 머리가 텅텅 빈 놈들도 소냐의 말에 껌뻑 죽어서 뒷골목의 어려운 자들을 돕곤 했으니까. 하지만 소냐는 뭔가가 부족하다는 표정일 뿐이었지. 결국 유로지비는 밖에서 사람을 돕는 것보다는 탁자에서 어떻게 골목을, 둥지를 바꿀까 고민하는 데에만 열중인 집단이 되어버렸어. 그래서 나는 그들을 떠났던 거야. 탁상 공룡 가지고는 배골른 이웃을 먹여 살릴 순 없으니까. 하지만 내가 누누이 말했잖아, 로자. 우리는 때를 기다려야 한다고. 소냐, 미안한데 그 때라는 건 유로지비의 막내 꼬마 이반이 음식물 쓰레기를 주워 먹었을 때도. 기도가 막혀서 죽은 다음에도 찾아오지 않았어. 큰 일을 위해선 더큰 힘과 더 자세한 정책이 필요해. 부의 재분배를 위해서 말이야. 
그리고 그런 방향으로 나아가기 위해서는 사사로운 잡음은 생기기 마련이지 사사로 우리는 원래 사사로운 자들을 돕기 위해서 시작했어 네가 하고 있던 일들은 유로지비가 하고 있던 일들은 내가 바랬던 방향과는 맞지 않았다고 그래서 직접 나서기로 결심한 거야? 당연하지 우리 마을에 필요했던 건 언제 올지 모르는 그때만 손 놓고 기다리는 게 아니라 눈앞에 놓인 도끼를 망설임 없이 집어들 수 있는 사람이니까 그날도 이웃들 중 대부분이 사일 이상은 배를 골고 있었을 거야 그런데도 바람은 봐주는 일 없이 날카로웠고 굶주린 자의 갈라진 피부를 사정없이 알키어댔어 나는 우리 이웃들이 사흘 밤낮을 토할 듯이 먹어대도 티도 안날 만큼의 많은 돈이 있는 금고를 알고 있었고 말이야 그래서 어떻게 했어? 잠깐만 나 이거 그만하면 안 돼? 이곳은 황금가지가 공명하면서 너를 위해 생겨난 일종의 고해실이야 그리고 고해실은 주로 죄인의 참회를 위해 생기는 곳이지 불쌍한 로지원 녀석 네가 대단한 구원자라도 되는 줄 착각하나 본데 그 노파가 마지막에 마음을 고쳐먹기라도 했더라면 하지만 로자 평생을 이웃에게 수탈만 일삼을 줄 알았던 노파가 갑자기 모든 걸 포용하며 자신의 돈을 내놓을 사람이 아니라는 것쯤은 알고 있었잖니 알았더라면 너도 처음부터 도끼 따위는 들고 가지 않았겠지 불쌍한 로지온 녀석 네가 대단한 구원자라도 되는 줄 착각하나 본데 그렇게 당당하게 내 돈을 요구해도 달라지는 건 없네 너희도 저 뒷골목 비렁뱅이와 다를 바 없는 버러지들일 뿐이지 그래 그녀의 머리를 가른 건 나야 황금 거위의 배를 가르듯 노파의 두개골을 깨끗하게 갈라내었지 결국 누군가는 했어야 할 일이었잖아 안 그래? 황금 거위는 스스로의 욕심에 의해 기회의 끈을 자른 얼간이의 일화지만 우리는 그녀의 뇌를 파먹어도 시원치 않을 정도로 굶주린 불우한 자들이었으니까 그리고 그 배에는 확실하게 황금알이 가득 베어 있었으니까 그래, 그 노파는 25구의 막강한 권력을 가진 세금 수탈자였지 하지만 그녀가 그렇게 활기를 치고 다닐 수 있었던 건 그녀의 동생이 중재의 조직원이게 가능했던 일이었어 I see. <웃음> 나는 굶어 죽어가는 이웃들을 위해 도끼를 휘둘렀어. 그게 잘못됐어? 아니, 너는 스스로를 위해 휘두른 거야. 네가 그저 평범한 사람에 불과하지 않다는 사실을 견딜 수가 없었던 거지. 알고 있어? 중지는 자신의 식구를 건든 자들을 절대 잊지 않아. 그들은 누가 했느냐가 중요한 게 아니라 자신들을 건들면 어떻게 되는지가 더 중요한 자들이야 처음으로 질 좋은 부위에 고기를 씹고 있던 뒷골목 주민들의 기쁨은 그대로 시체가 되어 탑처럼 쌓였지 카지노 밖에 쌓여있던 그 차들의 탑처럼 말이야 네가 그날 이후로 얼마나 고통스럽고 죄악감으로 뒤덮인 나날을 보냈는지 알고 있어 스스로가 황금거위를 가른 얼간이와 다를 바가 없었음을 깨달은 네가 말이야 그날 이후로 그 어떤 것도 더 이상 온전한 내 것으로 느껴지지 않았어 모두 나 때문에 다 괜찮아 로자 난 말이야, 
로자 세상을 바꾸기 위해 수천 권의 책을 수만 장의 문서를 찾았고 도시 곳곳에서 사람들도 만나왔어 집의 계급의 착취로부터 벗어나 마침내 피역업자들의 진정한 해방을 손에 넣을 수 있는 세상 그 세상을 만들기 위해서 말이야 하지만 정답은 바꾸는 것에 있지 않았어 이미 잘못 써내려간 페이지는 영영 되돌릴 수 없지 잘봐 이게 너와 내가 도달할 수 있는 세상이야 네가 공명한 황금가지를 통해 만들어갈 수 있는 그런 세상 지상에서는 배골른이 하나 없기를 정신적이며 지적인 쾌락을 추구할 수 있는 권리가 누구에게나 있기를 나와 함께한다면 그 세상을 너에게 선물로 줄게 다운. 마치 처음부터 아무 일도 일어나지 않았던 것처럼 누가 이해할 수 있을까? 잠깐뿐이었지만 맛보았던 그 세계는 너무나 꿈 같아서 잠시 눈에 담았을 뿐이었지만 잠시도 그 순간을 잊고 싶지 않아서 꿈이라면 다시는 깨어나지 않기를 차라리 내가 꿈 세계의 주민이기를 바라고 싶을 정도였다 그럼에도 미안 그래도 난 거절할래 왜일까 아직 나는 따뜻해지고 싶지가 않아 조금 더이 추위에서 떨어야겠어 언제쯤 따뜻해져도 될지 그 대답을 찾을 때까지는 아직 여기에 있으려고 그리고 순이야 너 내가 성질 못 네. 이기고 앞장서서 처리하러 갈 거라는 걸 미리 알고 있었지? <웃음> The happy music comes back after all that. 로자, 넌 이해하기 어렵겠지만 내겐 표시가 없어. 너가 가지고 있을 거라고 기대를 하고 왔지만 오히려 다른 친구들에게서 보이는 표지? 그게 무슨? 더군다나 넌 표지를 볼수 있지도 않지. 그 말인 즉슨 내겐 누군가를 이끌 힘은 없다는 뜻이야. 하지만 나는 달라. 그러니까 더 나은 세상을 위해선 그래. 넌 지금 잔뜩 쌓여있던 탁자 위에서도 비슷한 말을 했던 것 같아. 그래서 나는 너와 함께할 수 없어. 탁자 위에서나 오가는 말로는 역시 이웃들을 배부르게 할수 없으니까. 너도 알겠지만 망나니 새끼가 어떻게 새님 밑으로 들어가겠냐? <웃음> Got a point there. 황금가지는 저성 안에 있어, 로자. 무사히 네가 원하는 걸 찾을 수 있기를. We walked past Sonia and then made our way into the icy castle he indicated. Like, watch your tone. <laughs> He strikes me as not much of a fighter, so I wouldn't be surprised that he just leaves. <laughs> All right. Four waves. Oh, conditions on met because this is a different type, right? To 11. Oh, they roll pretty high, don't they? Okay. They're not that strong, though. They don't have a lot of HP. And they're also very slow. So if I redirect all of these attacks into the people best suited to deal with them, we should be fine. And then... That one for the other large beak pick, and then somebody's just gonna clash with one of the small ones, because it doesn't really matter. I like how it lets me do a win rate thing, regardless of the fact that I haven't actually fought these before. Ah, uh, really, Greg? 
Why do you do this to me? <laughs> they do not do very much damage, even when they do manage to hit. Nice job. The bottom one's gonna live, isn't it? Yep. Ow. Wait, I thought I redirected that. Oh well. 211, eh, 38. Okay, well. What am I doing? This doesn't matter. As long as I go first, which I will, it literally does not matter what I do. Come on. It's fine. Yeah. Cutscene only makes me like Rodian better. Is slash damage. Boom. What the? The castle trembles intensely as frosty rubble falls around us from above. Wait, if this keeps up, a foreboding idea flashes in my head. The ticking of my clock was like a reminder of how much time we had left. Out. Outside, now. We evacuated from it in a hurry. Oh. Okay. I know what myth it's based on now. <laughs> I we ran quite a bit, but what now? Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't. We need the boat. Give me a second. I never considered what to do after getting down here. <laughs> Why would it be down here, Greg? <laughs> they grabbed it already? I don't see it. Okay. Yep. Large chicken. This is wave two, by the way. I have no idea how this is going to work. <laughs> I can read their full story now, right? Nope. Okay. In comes the hard part. I have fewer actions than they do by quite a bit, which means I kind of just have to kill them on the first clash if I want to have any chance to survive. What is this? Baba Yaga is closing in. Clear the way or face certain death. Okay. Yeah, we've just got to go fast and get through them then. I can kind of ignore the second hit, maybe? Because it rolls pretty low. And also, they're slow anyways, so hopefully what I do is enough to finish them off. This obviously isn't going to kill just is only one hit. Okay. Please get rid of him, Greg. Thank you. Eh, that's fine. We have plenty of coins. Don't worry about that. I am going to take damage here. There's no way around it. But two of them are at least dead. They don't hit very hard, so... So each wave, I'm gonna have a certain number of turns, and if I don't kill them all in that number of turns, I just die. It's a fun idea for a fight. I'm on a time limit, but not an actual time limit. That kills him. Everybody else has to attack this guy. Nice. I love how high this member rolls. Better than silence? Wrong. I mean, no it is. It absolutely is. <laughs> it's actually just most of the Abno fights from Ruina. That is a lot of enemies! 
What is it it's enemy? I can read the rest of the story now. The large pickaxe turned into a big icy scythe. It's like the stuff Grim Reapers from fairy tales carry around. It was all massive and sharp. The way they wield it didn't really change, though. Lift it up and swing it down. Only, they're mining our skulls instead of ore veins. And instead of gold or silver, we yield a red liquid. Whoa, just a sec. Kid's head blew up again. To conclude in her stead, Sinclair was probably restored by management later. <laughs> Alright, Sinclair canonically dies down here. <laughs> Very cool. Right, if I can, Ego, I kind of have to, I think. Actually, I think countering might not be that bad. Because on... It's only a 7 to 5. That's what it normally rolls. Never mind. <laughs> I don't have Ego for anybody else, unfortunately. It doesn't show me their weaknesses any at all yet. See, this is the hard part. They have so many more actions than you that if you don't stagger them, it's basically just over. <laughs> And so clashing with the smaller ones might actually just be smarter, since... Alright, bud. Thanks for that. 21 damage? That's still okay, honestly. You can guess the percentage if they are weak. That's true. No, you can't. Wait, that's not how that works. I guess it is. They endure pierce. It's fine, whatever. They're weak to slash. No, they're not. It's their normal to slash, my bad. That one's dead. I think we're only killing one this turn, but we have four turns, so it's not too bad. Just don't kill me. It is a little strange that they deal slash damage a lot of the time. Ah, uh, that's bad. Okay. We can deal with this yet. What? Oh, she's at full resonance, so the thing gets the special counter roll. Eight percent, did that say? Yeah, I don't really think that that's how that works. Okay, whatever. Use the 5-11 on a really weak attack. 7-9 is more popular by my standards. I am glad that they're all really slow, at least. Because it means I get more attacks. Are you being attacked at all? You're not? Okay. Good, good luck on my part, then. This one's going to live because I am not hitting it enough, but it's staggered. Only a 12, bud. Okay, he died anyways. I think, yeah. Burn? What? <laughs> that inflicts burn? Okay, good to know. Okay, three down. That one's gonna live, because it has way too much HP left. Ow. At least Rhodia doesn't take any damage from basically anything. Alright, I can finish them off without needing to worry about it. I'm gonna have two people attack that one just to make absolutely sure that it dies. But this one should also be gone because <laughs> flank thrust is really good. Just in general. <laughs> Yeah, it's dead. Alright, last wave. Is it gonna be different? No. Okay. <laughs> Good. I thought I had three guys that were ready to use Ego. Oh well. 
I can ego anything, really. That's guaranteed win on that. Actually, no, no, no. I still want to use it against the more dangerous attack because the less dangerous attack does less damage. Yeah, that one's more dangerous. Okay, the rest of you... You're not being clashed with. Go ahead. You are also not being clashed with. Go. Uh, okay, I, I would have been really upset if he somehow lost all of those. It killed him in one hit. Perfect. Could have been better, but okay. Even though they do get a lot more attacks than you, this fight doesn't seem too hard. Stagger, guys. That's perfect. Whatever. Nice. <laughs> I'm max rolling a lot today. They're weak because you need to be able to get through them in time. I staggered him as well. And we won all the clashes, good. He's still gonna hit me this turn, but... 12? <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> okay. You have your other ego back. Even... I mean, they resist it, but I'm still gonna use it, because it's health. Okay, I do need to get rid of the other two. So I will. Actually, I'm going to do that the other way around. Because Rodius does more. Okay, who am I targeting with this? Uh, this guy. Go. I he lived. <laughs> Sometime in the future we get English voice acting. It will not happen. Don't get your hopes up. It kind of sucks that they resist that. Oh well. Okay, that one's at least dead. We have two more turns. And I'm staggered again. That's okay. Let's target the lower rolling things so we ensure we kill enemies. You can deal with him. Uh, sure? Yeah, that's my best option, probably. Unless this gets a bonus to the roll, it does not, but I'll still use it. Please go fast, I don't want to die. Okay, good. Two down, one left. Please, thank you. He had bleed, I was gonna die anyways. Clear, and Gregor's just gonna stand there. Toki, it's a They are persistent, he's right. We'll have to distract them somehow before we can get away. Not without their bodies, Ryoshu. Are you looking at me when you say that? <laughs> Hold on, look there. Sonia? What are you doing? Rodia, what's with your attitude? We have to take all the help we can get. That's true. え、にが時を引きずるじゃんこそ、現実を思うなりいっそとんこちら。なんてと、説明はげんあるかん。奪い取りに欲求がいんねんこかた。たんて、たんしねそじっと、結局んとなんせいせんをまんでぎうやんご
For the first time, I was reminded that I had never questioned the motivations of Limbus Company. Thankfully, none of my contemplative fudging reached Sonia, and he took my lack of a response as a sign of agreement. Who? Child? Oh. Oh. Ah, I'm sorry. 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 I'm I'm a faint light was shining between the fallen blocks of ice, giving a distinctive glow. Golden bow. Yeah, just grab it. Golden bow retrieved. <laughs> <laughs> After after Sonia left us with a mysterious message, the Eurodivius began to show up one after the other. Well, this may have been as good a time as any for touching farewells, like, I won't forget you. Then, I saw that Rodia was the first to sprint for the exit. Rodion, don't worry about What? The result of the result was the result of the result. I Ah... Yeah, <laughs> he'll be alive. He has a purple name. <sighs> Sometime later. Though I was dead tired, Virgilius wouldn't spare me from his fierce glance until I gave him a brief verbal report of what we went through today. Sonia, Rananja Marinda, Kajaga Chueton Sasangua, Majimaki Poyjun Hengdung and Soro Sang Chungide. Yeah, we know. Kuroni Kaja, we do it, eh? Mioki Chip Gunomagal Piruga. Ah, Tamkan Tamkan. Nisango Hurodoni, where Tadel Labuda Sonia and Tequanshime Kajinangoya? Ojetan, Hangum Kajil Kajonango and Sangong Hitana. From her pockets, Rodia pulled out a colorful bunch of gaming chips in her hands. <laughs> she robbed them when we were running away. Brilliant. 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 I'm impressed that you thought to snatch that stuff amidst all the chaos. To be fair, she didn't say anything during that entire section. Beneath her grin, Rodia's eyes were shaking with distress, but she soon covers it up with a guise of joviality as if nothing ever happened. <laughs> I'm pretty rad, aren't I? <laughs> well... <laughs> she definitely tried. Oh, 
왔던 나를 되어오던 시간들 일조차 그리워질까 먼 훗날 언젠가는 돌이켜볼 기억 속에 미소 질수 있기를 소질수 있도록 멀리 멀리 날아가고 싶어 밤하늘에 새처럼 별을 닿을 수 있게 이밤이밤또 다시 찾아 No, they don't sell. They don't sell steak. They sell sandwiches. 대단하네. Oh, Euro TV. You mean impressive? 그렇게 많은 적을 모서리 쓸어버린 것도 모자라서 그 많은 돈을 전부 태워버리다니. Pardon? 알잖아요, 헤르만. 옛날부터 돈은 제 친구가 아니었다는 걸. 인정하지. 보통의 몽상가들은 말만 번지르르 하지만 당신은 다르네. He destroyed all the money that was down in the dungeon. 황금 가지를 잘 가지고 오기만 했어도 칭찬까지 해줬을 테지만 말이야. Oh yeah, it does say end corp, doesn't it? <웃음> 로저에게 그 세상을 보여줬어요. 나를 반하게 만든 이상의 세상 말이죠. 하지만 넘어오질 않았던 모양이군. 당신이 말한 방법은 역시 틀렸던 것 같네요, 헤르만. 어? Oh? 그런 말몇 마디로 꼬드겨질 인물이 아니었어요. 그래서 아쉬움. 네? 글쎄요. 옛날처럼 나를 따라주길 바랬던 것 같기도 한데 아니, 옛날과 변한 게 없어서 차라리 다행인 것 같네요 로자는 모든 게 이상적이고 완벽한 세상을 바라고 있지 않았어요 오히려 그런 세상은 자신이 특별하다는 걸 확인받을 수 없으니 지루하다고 생각하지 않을까 어? 그런 생각이 들더군요. 외력에 흔들리지 않는 성인 군자인가 싶었는데 너랑 다를 바 없는 몽상가였네? 아직 그 아이도 가야 할 길은 멀은 거겠죠. 로자는 인정하고 싶지 않아 하겠지만요. So it seems like the main antagonist group of Limbus Company is going to be N Corp. After all. Considering who the enemies actually are so far. <laughs> 이야기는 잘 알겠어. 이후의 행동 방향을 결정할 때 
참고하도록 할게. 책망하지 않는 건가요? 난 당신이 시킨 일을 완수하지 못했잖아요. 나무란다고 해서 가지가 솟아나는 것은 아니잖아. That's true. 괜찮아. 지금 가지들이 어디에 있든. Yeah, the bug people is G Corp. 최후의 가지 다발을 손에 쥐는 자가 누구인지 interesting <laughs> because what Herman is Gregor's mother Or at least she called him her son. 가야 할 곳으로 보내준 것 뿐이죠. 보이는 걸 배어냈을 뿐이고요. And then all my base identities got updated. And they're all up tied to three, so do they have stories I can read? Let's find out, shall we? Probably the answer is no, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I figured, but we can look at all of them now. Target's sanity is below zero, inflict one fragile. All right. <laughs> It's three coins, though, so that's actually really solid. Uh, give two allies placed after this unit on the dashboard one damage up. And turn end, heal 10 sanity for one ally with the lowest sanity if they lost sanity during the turn. <laughs> okay. So now I can probably finally work on upgrading those. Since they're all good now. Paralysis, offense level down. Attack power down and attack power down. Deal 10% damage against units with negative status effects. One ally with the highest max HP inflicts one offense level down. You know what I just realized? If I'm not using these identities, I should really have the normal ones equipped, because the normal ones actually have passives. And all of my, like, rolled skins don't have up ties yet, so I should just select the normal ones if I'm not going to use the character anyways. That way they can level up. You're actually still okay, I have that one fully up tied. Uh, this one... Haste, attack power up. Coin power plus two at 10 plus speed. I guess that's the point of the haste, isn't it? Skills deal 10% damage in a one clash. One ally with the highest sanity deals 10% pierce damage. Okay. That's pretty basic. I just want to read what they do, because it's better than nothing, right? Gain poise. Uh, if target previously took damage this turn, deal plus 30% damage. Okay. And gain to slash damage up. That's actually a really strong attack, <laughs> but it's a weird effect to give it. Uh, deal and take 25% more damage. Hate that. One ally with the lowest max HP deals and takes 20% more damage. Alrighty. Uh, what about Mirosol? The guy himself. Inflict Tremor. Gain three defense level up and burst tremor on hit. And Deku. Four coins? <laughs> Gain three protection next turn. Apply two tremor count on head's hit. Yeah, I know. So anything that requires really high speed like that, you'd have to build around it. It's not gonna work. At less than 50% HP, gain one protection. One ally with the highest max HP takes 10% less damage from attack skills. It's very strange, but since it's the only identity I have on him, can't really complain about it. Sinking. Sinking, rupture, attack power down. What's that? Coin power plus two if user took no damage last turn. So his thing is don't take damage. Heal six sanity. At the start of combat phase, the ally with the lowest sanity heals six sanity. All right. <laughs> That's very boring. Heathcliff. What have you got? 
Roland is so much fun and powerful. I'm assuming all of these are good. Three Tremor, one attack power up and damage up. And next coin is plus two power on hit burst Tremor. So he's a Tremor thing. Passives, deal 10% more damage to targets with higher max HP. That's not gonna happen very often here. And one ally with the lowest max HP deals plus 10% blunt damage. Okay. What about Ishmael? Apply one Tremor. Inflict three defense power down. Uh, burst Tremor, inflict one blunt fragility. <laughs> That's very specific. Uh, at less than 25% HP, gain one power in a clash. One ally with the lowest HP and less than 50% of max HP gains one power in a clash. That's very specific. Unless it's two people. Most of the passives are pretty bad. Yeah, but it's also the passives you get at the start of the game, so what do you expect? <laughs> you know? The passives are what matters on most of them. Inflict two bleed, inflict two bleed, inflict two bleed. Deal plus 20% damage if target has six bleed. Slay. <laughs> Skill power plus one at lower than 0% sanity. So the thing about this one is that this is actually enough bleed to be able to trigger this. Uh, passives on hit inflict one bleed at a 10x wrath resonance percent chance. One ally with the highest HP deals 20% damage when with heads coins? Okay, that's very sp different than the rest. You just have people on the team that have the attacks that trigger the passive. Exactly. What about Sinclair, who I've literally not used? Rupture, 30% damage on Clash Win. Gain one attack power up on Clash Win. But he does have a lot of coins on both of these, so... When an ally is defeated, gain one attack power up next turn. That is garbage. Uh, one ally with the lowest SP gains one attack power up the turn after an ally is defeated. That is just garbage. <laughs> Sinclair is so bad without an identity. Rupture. 20% damage if user's speed is higher than the target's. 20% damage if target's HP is above 50%. Okay, that's weird. 10% damage if target sanity is below zero. One ally with the highest HP deals 30% damage to enemies with less than zero sanity. This is so much better, but having Otis in the back might just be better with this one. But I guess she does do a lot of damage with attacks. Yeah, that's a plus 14 on heads. Of course she does. And lastly, Greg... My boy, Rupture, apply one Rupture, inflict one Pierce Fragility, 10% damage if target has Rupture, heal by 30% of damage dealt on heads. Passives, heal 5 HP at the start of combat phase. At the start of combat phase, the ally with the lowest HP heals 5 HP. Okay, so at least Greg is pretty consistent. He's just got bad passives, his skills are good. Okay, whatever. You know. No, 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 no. I need to go back to Kanto 2 because there's these to collect. Alright, and I think everybody was pretty much in agreement that we should wait to do extractions until the next thing comes out. I don't need to do dispenses either. <laughs>